Sports Singleton. I'm John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us. And partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you've got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. From 41 Seaver Way, welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Mets. All right. Get this one started after this. Almost ready to get underway. So here's the lefty, Jose Quintana. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. This one in the air center field. Bader should have it. Nabs it, and there's one down. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. That one finds the zone. Going to count one and two. One down, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is even, two and two. Swung on, belted. McNeil going back. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Showed some really nice patience in that and back. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. Man at second. Up the middle. Throws the first in time. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got that him to bounce out. into that out. The first baseman, Jonah. And here's the first baseman, Jonah Bride. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Oh. Missed inside with the curve. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. That was ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it. Hit it hard. Had the distance. But just too much hook to it. So I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if we can keep that thing fair. Bader should have it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. One left for Miami. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. On the hill here today, Edward Cabrera. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring got, position. Got Most guys, they get a little Not tight, so they start to aim the baseball. Right, but for some reason, he gets looser, yeah. the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. To the right side, sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. That is just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock.
And now it's Mark Vientos. Move to first. Tag right and they got him. Lindor picked off. <laughs> so much for their first hit right there. Good move, and he had him leaning all the way. One out, base is empty. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Oh. And that's outside. Two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two-two now. Oh, and that just misses. Well, Careful. I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. In the air, right side. Sanchez gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Here's a Mets lineup now. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Ground ball to the right side. To first, and Martinez is out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And now Kyle Stowers. The why to kick the pitch. Ouch, that one drilled him. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, dude. Now it's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. The pitch. Run around the move. Hey! One Throw. Ball. Save. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Man, it's second. Two balls, two strikes. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitchers umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. 2-2 Two -two now. Hammers that one. Curling down the line and foul. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see them a lot. Yeah, but they're all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time. That is that the center field. There it is. And stepping in is the speedy Derek Hill. On the ground to third. Toss to Alonzo, and there's two away. The third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. And up next for Miami, Emmanuel Rivera. Man on second, two down. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two.
Runner at second, two down. Here at the top of the second. Right side, oh. and it goes just foul. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. And the inning is over. Marlins lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Queens. Here's Jesse Winker. No left field. Jesse Winker. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Wouldn't chase that time. And the right-hander deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. On the ground, right side. On to first. And quickly one away in the second. Good fade and sinking action in that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Oh, Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. Hard hit, right side. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The second baseman. Here's the second baseman. The 1 1 is fouled off. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Down in order go the Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Number 47. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. On the ground, right side. Slings the first leadoff hitter gone in the third. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. So the batting order turns over. And now for the Marlins, Xavier Edwards. So easy to look at the big boys in this lineup, but he has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Shortstop takes the ball. Top of the third, no score. On the ground. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Up next, the Next is the designated hitter, Jake Berger. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a miss struck him out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at City Field, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Here. 
Left hand batter waits. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, corrals it. One away. Batting it. The catcher. Louis. Luis Torrens now at the plate. Kicks and deals. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you, what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Harrison. Baker. And now Bader up to the plate. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Bounce to the left side. Edwards gets it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Mets go down quickly. And we're still knotted at zero. And we're back. Really All set Miami. for the start of the inning. The right and at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. Sanchez. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. One up, one down. The bat, the first baseman, Jonah. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jonah Bride. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. And a one two. And ball. another ball. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Torrens squeezes it. Two down. Now back at the left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. The 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. And a swing and a miss. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Still no score. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now it's Frankie Lindor. I love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced oh. Old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. The wind of the pitch. Next offering misses down and away. On the ground to the left. Whips it across. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Down. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the number two hitter, Mark Vientos. One, one down. Ground ball right side. And that chance handled. Now he launches a throw over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. The designated hitter, J.D. And Martinez. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is if the line drive base hit. Headed for the plate. The throw in, but it's offline. He will score. Well, how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
now here is Jesse Winker. The pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch. Right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it. And the deception gets him the K. Falling behind two and one. Two balls. One straight. That clips the inside corner for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Now it's the second baseman. Strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Two on, two outs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Queens, ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Marlins, Otto Lopez. Next offering in there for a strike. It's a ball in two strikes. And that's down and away. And now the lefty. In the air, out towards left center. Bader makes the play, and there's one down. Now And up next for Miami, Derek Hill. Ball to strike, the pitch. Lifted in the air now the left side, and that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a one-two again. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his arm right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And at the plate for Miami, Emmanuel Rivera. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Boom. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Kicks and fires. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Xavier Edwards gets a chance to hit here. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Ryan Stanek, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Manaya getting cranked up as well.
Next offering is down low. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Bounced up the middle. They take the force out. That's the third out. Marlins strand a pair. They trail here, one nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the right fielder, Jeff McNeil. One and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand okay, down, I got this. So up next for New York, Luis Torrens. And the pitch. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. And they'll do it again. The one two. Liner snaked at first. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit yeah, that right. hard, Never but it doesn't good. always work out in your Never favor. Good. Sometimes a defender is Bader. there to make a play. Two outs, base is empty. Harrison Bader, the next to hit. Two outs. Huh. And a swing and a miss. Well, that's hit. that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one is lifted in the air. Hill on the move to the alley. Brings it in for the third out. <laughs> Top six. And now Jake Berger. This kid picked up in a trade. Burger. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. In there at the knees. For the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left handed hitter facing a left handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And now it's even up. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jonah Bry. The fish trailing by a run, and we're the top half of the sixth. Next pitch is downstairs. There's a strike. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Chop left side, Vientos. Slings it across, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Mets one, and the Marlins nothing. They bring a young arm out of the bullpen in this spot, number 71. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 71, Roderi Munoz. 
Francisco Lindor to the plate now. Fans love him, but he's pretty popular with the players, too. He certainly is, Boo. The player survey on MLB.com listed him as one of the friendliest infielders to chat with during a game. I'm sure he appreciates the recognition from his peers. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the, the other way. The but that time, a little anxious. Now the third baseman, Mark Vientos. One down, base is empty. Right side, hard hit. Bryant takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. Now batter, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Nothing doing for the Mets. They still lead it 1 0. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Stanek. He last pitched now, two days ago. Number 55. Ron. Stanek. Now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. The left fielder, Kyle Stowers. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. The 2 2. Out to center. Bader sizing it up. He's got it, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything now, slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. That one ripped, but foul. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. The one, two. That's to third, Vientos. Throws the first in time. The bat, the center fielder, Derek Hill. Here's the center fielder, Derek Hill. center McNeil in pursuit makes the play and it's out number three back here at City Field here's the left fielder Jesse Winker Winker The one to one. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. And that's outside. And it's two and two. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Hill makes the grab one down. Now bad first, first base. Pete. Here's Pete Alonso. Oh, base is empty one away. Here the bottom of the seven.
One down, base is empty. And another ball. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Got him swinging. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two now strikes, that, slider that's down that's and away from a same oh, side right. thrower as the hitter. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Oh. Just missed. That one's in there. And the count is two and two. Next offering is outside. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Offense held a check there. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets one and the Marlins nothing. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Reed Garrett. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and up close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And another ball. Action in the Mets bullpen. Edwin Diaz, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Razobah, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Wouldn't well, chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any lead off base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Now it's the Marlins catcher. And here it comes. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count. One and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Out. Going to drop third strike. Two ball. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. So the lineup flips over. Xavier Edwards will hit next. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Well, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. Almost got him. Almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Payoff pitch. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Balls it in the NBA. And one, two, three go to Marlins. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back 
now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Number 58. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Jeff McNeil stands in. The right field. Right handed reliever. Still two and two after the foul ball. Stays alive. Nice grab to his knee, the throw, yeah. and very nicely done for the out. But he looks so comfortable making the that play. Dives, three. comes up with it, and then from Number one three. knee, like he's just playing catch with oh, his kid. Man. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Luis Torrens getting ready to hit. To the right side. And that one handled. Throws to first in time. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number 34, Harrison. Two out, space is empty. And next for the Mets, Harrison Bader. Ball to strike. Headed towards the corner. Stowers drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that's the inning. We go to the ninth. Now it's the DH, Jake Berger. Right hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses the first. Now one gone in the ninth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. Well. This game is a lot he's harder he's than it looks, partner. Sanchez. He's two outs away. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Now a pop up on the infield. Pulls it in, and there's two away. So they're down to their final out. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jonah Bride. Two outs. They're down to their final strike. Oh, oh, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended that out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And this is inside. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. The Marlins down to their final strike. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. 
That's tremendous fight from him, and I know he's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. So two down, now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. That misses, and a count to a one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And a pitch. Out to short. And that one finds its way through. So that's two straight, two out hits. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on him, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. And up next for Miami, Otto Lopez. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. He puts it away and that'll do it. The Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today.